Welcome back to BBN tonight. All right, happy to be joined now by the voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach. And Tom, before we get into the Cats, it's Super Bowl Monday. What would you think of Bengals Rams? It was a good game. I was rooting for the Bengals. And, um, you know, they certainly had chances there in the second half. I kept thinking just one score, if they could find a way to get a score, that would have done it. Um, and it's just, it was a tough beat. And unfortunately, they've had three of those at the Super Bowls. <laughs> Now, Kentucky rolled the Gators on Saturday thanks to a hot start from Kellen Grady, a bounce back offensive game for Severe Wheeler and a huge night for Oscar Sheboy. Tom, what did you think of this performance? Yeah, very impressive. I mean, Florida had been uh, playing well, even though they hadn't beaten anybody of, of consequence in their winning streak. Winning games get you confidence. And so uh, Kentucky uh, sees control of uh, this one early. And Oscar was, was tremendous. Glad to see Severe just make a couple of shots, just for his own, uh, you know, good good mental health. There gets in your head a little bit when you can't make shots. Happened to kill it actually. I had a kick out of he had those three early and he missed I think seven in a row. And then he finally hit one late and he just looked up to the heavens. It's like thank you finally. <laughs> so it can get in your head. So I was glad to see Severe make a couple. But he is, uh, as Cal says, he does so many other things for them that uh, he's very, uh, very valuable. Now you just keep your fingers crossed about Ty Ty and, uh, and Jacob Toppin. Yeah, I remember that one you're talking about with Kellen because he was like, yeah. oh, thank goodness. Finally saw it <laughs> go through, right? All right, Lance yeah. Ware had one of his best games as a Wildcat. Valuable minutes off the bench, four points. Should have had two more off a missed dunk that would have blown the roof off of Rupp Arena. Plus, he had seven rebounds, and I guess you could call it grit. No fouls called here, but certainly a lot of emotion. And then there was that little thing that we don't have to focus on, but Calipari did bring up after the game. Listen to this one. He shot an air ball from the free throw line. And you know what the fans were doing? We want Lance. We want Lance. It just tells you if you'll fight and compete and not be timid, just play aggressively, everybody loves it. Tom Bruiser Flint talked today and said that every team needs a guy like that who's going to buy into his role and embrace it. So, Tom, we have to ask, how about Lance? <laughs> I love what he's doing because, you know, you can't have Oscar playing 40 minutes a game. Uh, you're going to be foul troubles and just, just fatigue. He plays so hard. So they really have, uh, you know, very little, if any, drop off in, in their, uh, you know, defensive and production and, and really even rebounding. Uh, lose a little bit of offense, certainly. But the thing with Lance is, obviously, his shots are, are close in. But he missed that tip dunk. That's the only shot he's missed since the North Carolina game in wow. late December. Wow. So, he, you know, last year we saw him miss some close in shots. He's added strength, and so he finishes better. So he gets his opportunities. He, uh, he gets you a bucket or two while he's in there. He gets you a few rebounds. The other thing that you'll see him do, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet, he's just so active that, you know, the, he'll keep a ball alive that will enable somebody else to get it. And he's done that multiple times in the stretches that he's played. That doesn't show up, but that, uh, you know, if you find a way to track possession saved or something, he would have a, a good number there, too. And even during that dust up, Tom, I mean, the last person you want to go at is Lance Ware <laughs> in that situation. Thank goodness for Coach Antigua. Cats go on the road tomorrow night. We all remember what happened the last time Kentucky played Tennessee. They just about 30 piece them. Total domination, 107 to 79. Assistant Coach Boozer Flint talked with us earlier today to preview the balls. Part two, Tom, listen to this. They're going to play you hard. They're going to they're gonna play you tough. They're going to uh, uh, play real physical against you. Uh, they play up in the passing lanes. Uh, they're just a little bit bigger. Uh, but uh, they've played well. But they, they were that type of team before we played them. Uh, we just scored. A, we just had a great game that night. Now, Tom, Kentucky shot 70% from the field and 61% from deep the last time they played the balls. Not sure you can expect that this time around, and Tennessee will definitely be looking for revenge in front of a sold-out crowd. What's the key for the Cats to win tomorrow? Well, rebounding is going to always <clears throat> be a big key. They're 18-1 when they out-rebound the opponent. Kentucky, Tennessee's undefeated when it out-rebounds its opponents. Um, you know, they're going to have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder from the game here in Lexington. As Cal Perry has pointed out, Tennessee played pretty well offensively. They had been struggling with their offense at that point, 
they came in, made 11 threes, shot it mm-hmm. uh, pretty well. They had 20 turnovers, but uh, since that game, they have been much better offensively. Last four games since they lost a one-pointer down in Texas, they've averaged 79 points a game. So they have been playing much better offensively. A lot of steals. Uh, they're going to the free throw line uh, more of late. So uh, this will be very tough, especially if they, you know, if Kentucky's down a man or two. So uh, you know, if if they could get this one, uh, they would be really looking good as far as that one seat. Tom, thanks so much. We'll be listening to you tomorrow night. Sounds good. Enjoy. All right, coming up next, we're getting into the holiday spirit. A very special Valentine's Day story with the Kentucky basketball team right after the break, only on BBN Tonight.